Join us. Hi, yes, Portland. Chicken corn dog, grill and cheese, sandwiches, then mashed potatoes and peas. Have a good day, Portland. Bye. Buenos dias, Portland. Um, today you're going to get a paper that's in your teacher's box and it has this little mouse on it. This paper has a code on it that your parents or grandparents can use on the computer to sign you up for a readathon. The readathon is a fundraiser for the library and that means that it's going to allow us to have money to buy new library books. Um, and if you go online and go ahead and sign up, enter somebody's email address, then they will send you a prize. And we'll, we'll keep track at school of how much you're reading the next couple weeks and you may be able to earn other prizes for doing your reading every day. Uh, thank you so much. Adios, Portland. Good morning, Portland. Today's October 1st, 2014, and we are starting a new month, and also you're starting into a new grading period. I hope everyone shared their report card last night with their parents and talked about your goals for this next grading period, and you're going to make it a great grading period for learning. We have a new big idea this month, and our big idea is creativity. And creativity means using your imagination to do something unique. Our animal this month is called the bowerbird, and a bowerbird is a unique animal that only lives in Australia and New Zealand. Our color for this month is also unique. It is tie-dye. Tie-dye is a unique mix of all the colors, or it can be specific colors that you pick, but it's a unique mix because even if you use the same colors, it comes out unique or special every time. So we'll be talking all month about what creativity is, about the Bowerbird, and about what it means to be creative and what, how we can be special with the color tie-dye. Let's talk about what's going on. You have a special week this week. Friday, we do not have school for students. You are also off from school on Monday and Tuesday. So I have a challenge for you while you're off for five days. What can you do to make sure you keep up your special learning from reading and math? How can you make sure that you're keeping up with your reading? Think about finding a special book you like, and you can work on it in two ways. You can read the same book every night to practice um, being able to read it better and better and better. Or you can choose something like a chapter book and um, try to get through it in all five days. Or your other choice could be that you read a different book every night. But try to, for this five days off, to read every day. And um, that will keep you fresh over that weekend, and it'll also boost you over those five days from school. Let's see how that goes, and let's see who can follow that plan. I have a special announcement. We passed our attendance wreath out for this week, and the winner for the best attendance from last week was Mrs. Stokes' class in kindergarten. They are showing off the wreath in their classroom so that they can see it every day. And we're going to be calculating who has the best attendance this week, and we'll be passing that wreath along to the next class winner. Is your class having the best attendance this week? Is everybody in your class here on time, every day, all day? Wonder when your class will be the attendance wreath winner. We'll be proud to present it to your class when your class wins. So Miss Stokes' class is the first class to win the wreath for this round. Let's see who's going to be next. Let's get set for a great school day, boys and girls. Thank you to everyone that showed their um, talents yesterday for the Patriot ce celebration and for all of you that participated well. And we're looking forward now today to a great school day and to the start of the month of October.
Have a great um, day today. At Portland, I will be. At Portland, I will be. Responsible. Responsible. By doing what's right. By doing what's right. Respectful. Respectful. By considering myself and others. By considering myself and others. Ready. Ready. By being willing to try my best. By being